Hey yo, this is Dash and today I'm going to be talking to you or I'm going to be showing you how I prepare to put food away either to be frozen, to be shipped, or in this case to be portioned out so that my uncle and his fiance can have some brisket so they can take some food back home with them, freeze it, and then be able to pull it out or pull packets of brisket out and have brisket as whenever they want. So I've had a lot of questions in regards to vacuum sealing. When I talk about how I vacuum seal food to either save leftovers or to send food to folks in the mail, or like I said, in this case, in this instance, what I'm gonna be doing is vacuum sealing some brisket, a whole brisket, breaking it down so that I can give it to my uncle so he and his fiance can pull packets of brisket out of the freezer and have brisket whenever they want it so they don't have to come to my house like every weekend. Anyway, here we go. Hey, yo, this is Dash. <laughs> Get ready. First thing that I did was cook a brisket. You guys have seen me cook briskets before. I cooked this brisket on my ugly drum smoker. I'll link to a video where I put or I cooked the brisket in the ugly drum smoker. So after I cooked the brisket, the next thing that I did was I sliced the brisket up. Now, of course, I also have videos on that too. So I'm not gonna bore you with how I sliced up the brisket, but you can see a video where I sliced up the brisket there. Next, and last but not least, I am getting ready to get my brisket portioned off into vacuum seal bags. Now what I did to make this easier for myself, and I didn't get this on camera, I weighed the brisket, I weighed the point and the flat separately to see how much brisket there was. There's about eight pounds of brisket here. Now what they asked me to do was they want one pound of brisket for the road because they're traveling, right? They, and then they want everything else pretty much broken down into, and I put them in one pound packs. A pound and whatever vegetable or side they're gonna have is enough for a meal. So that is usually my recommendation, a half a pound of, of protein or meat per person. Now, today I'm doing this with brisket, but you can do this with pulled pork, pulled chicken, chicken wings, anything that you need to vacuum seal, this same methodology should apply. The first thing I do is weigh out my food to see how much I have, and then I figure out how many bags I'm gonna need. So the next thing that I did was I got my vacuum seal bags together and I pre-made them. All right, so now that I have my brisket cut up, and my vacuum seal bags all portioned out, the next thing I'm gonna do is get everything separated. Now, because I told you, or I told you, I needed to get a pound for the road, I'm gonna get my scale ready. Zero it out. Tear it with the container on it. And I'm gonna put a half a pound of the moist, that's a bit too much. Take some off. All right, half a pound of moist and a half a pound of the lean brisket into the container. And this is what they're gonna have to take with them on the road. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my packages weighed out. And I'm gonna try and get, again, a half a pound into each container. So a half a pound of the lean brisket, and I'll also put a half a pound of the moist brisket into each of the bags. Until we have a pound in each of the bags. 
for this particular instance. Over time from doing this, you'll get better at judging and guessing how much you need to fill up the bag. There also is no real rhyme or reason or, or right way, correct way or wrong way to get the food into the bag. You, you kind of just have to get it in there. Right. Now I could stay here all day and try to get it exactly to, to 16 ounces but I know better. Some of the bags are going to be 15.5 and some of them are going to be 16.5. So I just know that I need to get it close, close enough or good enough for government work. And that's good enough for me. So a half ounce over or under is not going to make or break me. That last bag will have, could possibly have a little bit more brisket and it's all going to him, it's all his, so it's not going to make that much of a difference. Now, where it would make a bigger difference or a big deal, or be a big deal, is if I was selling this to multiple customers, then I'm going to make sure that I get this to the exact weight. But again, this is all his, so I'm not pressed about getting exact measurements because it's all going to him. We're just gonna make this, this bag heavy just because there's not that much of the lean brisket left. Yeah, this is almost a pound right here. And then we'll just put everything into the rest of this bag and call it a day. Change my mind, I'm gonna put a little bit of brisket into one of the earlier bags that was a little little light. Alright, so now that that part is done, we can vacuum seal everything. Just gonna roll the bags up. And your vacuum sealer, however, is may vary. Now, while the vacuum seal action is actually happening, I will try and readjust the, the meat, the food in the package so that it lays flat and also to get as much air out of the bag as possible. Now, one of the things that you saw, uh, or hopefully it was captured in the video, one of the bags I had a, a bad seal on the bottom. What I ended up doing was actually just putting it inside of another bag. So, you know, pro tip, 
Maybe keep an extra bag on hand so that when and or if you have an issue or a problem, you can go ahead and just use another bag as opposed to keep doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting a different result. You know, that's the definition of insanity. All right, so here's a little bit of after video or a little bit of video after the video because I realized after I was done, I never showed you guys what I do or how I do what it is I do with the jus from the brisket. Now people always say aju. Aju means with juice. We're just talking about the juice. We don't need to say the, the, with, the with juice. Okay, so all of the seasonings and everything like that, they just settle on the bottom of the container. So what I'm gonna do is kind of squish and move this around so that the seasonings get dis distributed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour this Two ounce cup is going to go in a container that they have for the road. And then this cup is going to be what they're going to take with them. And they can keep this in the refrigerator and have some of the jus whenever they need it, whenever they pull out one of those packs. And it'll keep in the refrigerator for quite some time. But more often than not, when I've asked my uncle about it, he said that they really don't need the jus when they pull a pack out of the, the freezer or once they thaw it out and warm it back up, it's fine. So there you go. All right, so there you have it. Again, quick and easy how to vacuum seal some food that you did. Either, again, if you're shipping it, if it's leftovers, if it's a meal prep type thing, or in this case, like I said, I'm getting it ready so that it can travel back to Philadelphia. Thank you so very much for watching this video. If this is your first video, please go ahead and consider subscribing. If you are already subscribed, make sure you let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below that you enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw or if you learned something today, please make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below with some feedback or any questions you might have. Don't forget, we go live every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We kind of, we do the barbecue thing. We talk about something barbecue, barbecue business related most times in the first hour of the live stream. And in the second hour, we shoot the breeze and we talk about whatever it is. And we, we kind of just get together and have a little bit of a party on a Wednesday night. So if you're so inclined, please do join us, not just me, but join us for the live streams on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Thank you so very much again, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bye, baby. <laughs>